highly addictive activities. So highly ag addictive activities would be social media, scrolling, and obviously for majority of the males is porn addiction in the morning and watching porn and ejaculation in the morning. That is highly problematic. That's everything. That's from social media to scrolling to uh, uh, ejaculation and even sex in the morning. Now, highly controversial. I like controversy. And so that's why I am putting this in number two. Don't feel guilty of it, of doing like scrolling and all that, what I said. Everyone does it. I have done it. Some, some, some days I just want to wake up and just check my phone quickly, like scroll on Instagram, like see how many likes I have, see how many YouTube views I have. That's just a part of human being. Technology is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. I'm succumb to the malicious cycle of scrolling. And technology is not going anywhere. So you can only manage it and control it. But if you want to optimize your mental clarity, you have to not give in to your urges. I, I do not think scrolling and using your phone serves any good for your mental clarity, like I said. Um, so I have made a video a couple few months ago about... Uh, social media fasting and why social media fasting is important because when you look at highly stimulatory images in the morning you are flooding your brain with dopamine and then you have kind of a down regulation of dopamine and then you start the cycle again because of that down regulation you're already flooding your brain with dopamine and then that is that down regulation of dopamine is kind of causing demotivation Demotivation is distraction in disguise. I mean, by any means, like by all means, you can check your phone in the morning if you have to. Do it. But do not gawk at pictures or unintentionally scroll through TikTok in the hopes to land on a twerking video. You have the power to control your hands and your eyes. And... I think using and like scrolling in the morning, if you really want to optimize your routine and mental clarity, is just a bad thing. Like it's it's actually bad. I have I have witnessed it, I in myself in my own behavior. So that's why this is in in number two. Speaking of scrolling through TikTok in hopes of finding something that arouses you sexually. People, many men, many men in the morning watch porn, have urges to watch porn, and some of them have sex in the morning. Whoever your role model is, uh, I have, uh, when Andrew Tate was uh, successful through YouTube, now, some of the videos of those on TikTok were taken out of context, I understand that. But in one of those videos, he was basically saying that he has um, sex before going to the gym. And he, he said that he has a greater pump uh, when he does that. Well, if that was the case, then good for him. He is one of the luckiest humans in every way as possible. But we are not all Andrew Tates. We are not, uh, we're not all like each other. And so I'm just going to speak from the biological standpoint of this. When you watch, um, when you ejaculate in the morning, whether it is uh, from watching porn or through sex, what you're doing is you are increasing your prolactin levels after ejaculation. Prolactin levels, when they are elevated, there is a oppositely reducing effect on dopamine, testosterone, and estrogen. So you can guess what is happening to you in the morning if your testosterone is tanking, your dopamine is tanking, and your estrogen is tanking all at the same time. Your key hormones are tanking at the same time where 
in comp in comparison they should be high in the morning so you can leverage those hormones into do productive deep useful work that is my take on the uh ejaculation excessive ejaculation problem in today's society now sexual pleasure is important don't get me wrong what i really want to emphasize here is that don't do it first thing in the morning or don't do it before a workout i feel like the optimal way of getting or engaging in sexual pleasure is later in the day uh, it could be later in the afternoon or even after the afternoon i feel like that is the best way possible and so i urge people who want to optimize mental clarity you want to also try that <clears throat> and yeah so as i said pro prolactin is a hormone that is released post, post ejaculation elevation of that hormone results in reduction of dopamine testosterone and estrogen and that increases demotivation the, that increases distraction because most people who are porn addicts right i'm talking about not sex addiction now porn addiction when they open those first though that first floodgate of watching the first video they will do that continuously this addiction problem any addiction in neuroscience you research about the basis and the similarities are are so strikingly interesting because when you open the floodgates you just give into those cycles again and again and you don't understand what is happening that is even with binge eating too and with binge uh, with um binge eating and food addiction so when i was first trying to lose weight and i was restricting myself of too many calories and too many foods that i liked what happened is for example one day i would just go a slightly above like maintenance or maybe even maintenance but that day i promised myself at the start of the day that i would be in a caloric deficit but when i did not uh, fulfill that promise of myself i hit the maintenance calories i said to myself i messed up i ate 500 calories over and i hit my maintenance what is the point of even not like what is the point of even being in a caloric deficit today and so i'll just eat extra 500 today i'll just have an extra this or extra that and that will all combine into a large binge eating day and that is how addiction works it just pulls you deeper 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 into that hole and that increases distraction because then you feel guilt your mind is not where it needs to be and you know that too you are less mentally clear on what you want to do with your day so i urge people stop scrolling stop doing things that decrease are decreasing your dopamine levels by a way of increasing highly increasing first and then down regulation because that's what happens when if there is a high high stimulant right and so that is what i advise